My name is Shay. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do some plant self-care because I kinda need it today. Here I have with me my beautiful caladium. Look at how pretty she is. So I actually was so drawn to these because they have these beautiful leaves. They get large with the right conditions. This plant was so finicky the first time I got it. It actually looked like this and then it completely died back because I didn't know the water the watering conditions, like, you know, self medicate But it actually died back completely and I grew this back. So these plants are very resistant. They're bulbs. They just grow back. I noticed that the soil needs to be consistently moist. Otherwise, it starts to like turn yellow and wilt. So when you get these watering conditions right, they bless you with these beautiful leaves. And now it is doing very well. It is thriving. I love it. I have these glass containers from Ikea. So I got this big one here. So I was thinking maybe that could do it with these hanging out the top. Or I could do this size here. I think that might be a little bit more appropriate because I don't want like too much soil and too much excess. But yeah, let's get to repotting this. So I just want to show you my plants growing in no drainage. I honestly, I love it now. Here is my Birds of Paradise. Growing in no, no drainage at all. I love these glass cylinders. And look, I can see all the roots here. Honestly, I wish I could do this for all my plants, but not all the plants like to yeah, stay moist all the time. This likes to remain moist. So I have a little bit of a reservoir of water here. At the bottom, I kept the same soil from the original plant, and then I just put some Leca clay balls with a little bit of marbles, and then I just fill the water up a little bit, and it is thriving. Okay, and then I also have a prayer plant. These <laughs> used to give me so much trouble because if they dry out, they start to die, and I obviously need to water this one now because it's soaked up majority of the water. But again, glass got some Leca clay balls at the bottom with some marbles glass beads type of thing. The original soil, I put a little bit more soil. I added in some willow bark and some of these turfus chunks and it's doing great. We're gonna put this in no drainage because I feel like it's gonna do a lot better than it is now. Man, do this one floor, not very easy. Here is the caladium and I have some turfus here so this just retains a bit of moisture and then when the plant needs it it releases it and I just have regular potting soil here to fill. I'm gonna use this plastic container to just make sure I don't have dirt all over my floors. Okay. And then I just have a, oh, it's gonna be loud. So it's just a container full of leka, stones, shells, just some random things to put at the bottom of the glass container. So I think this would be the perfect size. Yeah. So let's, oops, let's do that. So I'm just gonna put this mix of leka and dirt. Mm -hmm. Not dirt, I said dirt. <laughs> it looks pretty, it's like the it looks like a pond floor. Ready to get messy? So that's how I filled it up. That's what it looks like. Got some pretty nice rocks in there. Okay, so then I'm going to take this out of this pot and put it in here directly, and then I'm gonna fill it up with extra soil. This is gonna get messy. Okay, let me try to do it as gently as possible. So I'm just squeezing around. Okay, just gonna do a gentle tug. All right, okay, so look at those roots. They look good, no rot, doesn't smell bad. Okay, now how to squish this in? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna squish it. I'm just gonna go for it. Get in there. Please. Oh. Yeah, when I said this was gonna get messy, I was not lying, okay. I like to get my hands messy, but it's messy, messy. Oh, there you go. Shoot to right in, shoot to right in. Honestly, I've been, my love of plants right now has just grown. Um, I think I'm addicted, actually. I think I might have a problem. How does that look? Does she look pretty? 
Okay, and so now I can see exactly how the roots are. I can see if they are rotting. So I'm just going to take the extra soil and just kind of pot it back in. Let me know if you guys want some more plant videos because I have so many plants. Um, you know, I can do features. I can do showing you my plant chores. But yeah, plants has become a huge part of my life. And my self-care recently is watching plant videos, you know, watching people replant things, dealing with pests. I don't know. I just, I just love it, especially when people get new plants and they're like repotting it and they're talking about that plant. I just love learning. I just think it's exciting. Um, I love seeing people excited about their new plants and just the passion. I just love when people are passionate about things, you know, um, but I've also been doing a bunch of like do it yourself things like getting stuff from the dollar store and just, you know, making things myself. There we go. So we have some air pockets. Shimmy dash oil. How do I get that in there? Let me get, oh, let me use this. Okay, so they, when I bought, um, I bought my plant shelf on Amazon, they gave me these cute little tools. I thought they were adorable. There you go. That worked. So I'm just packing in the soil here. Oh, by the way, so I ordered moss poles, plastic moss poles and off Amazon, they're coming in the mail, and I was gonna do a video showing how I attach my plants to moss poles, because when you do, apparently they grow a lot bigger because they're given the conditions where they can, like if, if you have a plant that likes to climb, it will grow bigger, better leaves, so. Get all that soil in there. This one's a little bit loopy. What's going on with you? I may have like shocked it from all the repotting. Hope that one doesn't die. These guys don't like to be moved around too much. I'll do a little close up so you guys can see and then we will water it. looks great look at this beautiful and now I can see all the roots I have my nice reservoir so I can see if it's running low on water or anything and see if there's any problems I've been collecting rainwater now in my backyard <laughs> and I have it mixed with mycorrhizae here I'll I'll bring the package upstairs so it's called Bigfoot mycorrhizae it's a concentrate, so water root inoculum. This helps with root development. They have a symbiotic relationship. So the plant develops roots. It allows it to take up a lot more nutrients and water. It also helps it be resistant to root rot. So I've been using this on all my plants and they love it. This is actually a small company. One teaspoon per four liters. This is a four liter jug and I mix that and it does turn black. So I'm just going to water this just enough to fill up the little reservoir. Adding the water also helps settle the soil in case there's any like air pockets or anything like that. See, it's flowing through. And now there's a reservoir of water too. And then because there's like a clay balls in here and a bunch of like marbles and stuff, it's going to retain moisture a lot better. And when this soil dries out, it's going to wick the moisture up from the bottom. This plant should be able to last a lot longer without dying because it'll have a constant source of moisture. Okay, now to put it back. So we won't be needing this pebble tray anymore because this was an attempt to keep the moisture so i'll take that away my beautiful plant there you go so i'm just leaning a bit okay now these will turn in the direction of the light so i'm not too worried about that i'm happy with it doesn't it look great it has new little babies and there's the reservoir of water so it looks nice and moist, and now I can see when it dries out. Mm -hmm. 